welcome and good morning to all of you. So as CMD of PMPML, PMPML is considered as the lifeline of transport for the uh, city. So we have around 2300 buses, out of which I'll tell you we have around 150 electric buses presently running and around 500 more will be coming by March. Already they have started coming. So in few months more, we will be the largest fleet of electric buses, not only in entire India, but the second largest in entire Asia. That's a big uh, fit for uh, Pune as a city. So we have, uh, now we are planning for more number of charging stations. We had only two charging stations for the buses. Now we are planning for four more charging stations. And we have recently floated a tender for public charging stations. Like it will be in a PPP mode where a private player will be developing the charging station. And that will be not just for buses, that will be for cars and bikes as well. And uh, there will be a revenue sharing model with the government. So the tender is already footed. Today is the, our pre-bid meeting for the same. And, uh, and there is one more concept which we are planning. We had uh, around 600 diesel buses and some CNG buses. So we are planning to convert those CNG and uh, uh, diesel buses into electric vehicles which have uh, had their uh, lifespan. So after 10 years, we generally scrap the buses. So we are planning to convert those buses into electric buses. So there are uh, many players, not only, uh, I think in Pune there are two players, but in India there are many players who are converting buses into electric buses. So it takes around 50 to 60 lakhs rupees, but an uh, entire bus can be converted into electric buses. And yeah. so we have already floated a tender. So I'd urge people to also come and uh, participate in that so that more, uh, like Delhi, I'll take an example of Delhi. Recently I got to meet uh, the CMD of uh, DTC, Delhi Transport Corporation. So he was telling a nice story about how uh, Delhi High Court intervened and suddenly uh, one night they stopped uh, plying off all the diesel buses because of the pollution. So I feel Pune is equally a sensitive uh, place taking environment into consideration. So we are also planning to uh, remove our diesel buses slowly, gradually and convert them some into uh, electric buses and rest scrap them. So in near future, we'll be having only fleets of CNG and electric buses in our, in our fleet. There is one more thing. Uh, recently, I uh, went and visited the uh, Software Technology Park of India, which is a government of India an organization. It's in Bhosri, MIDC. So they have a COE motion named motion. So they are also, they have startups which are uh, designing conversion of autos, autos and bikes into electric, uh, electric vehicles. And that's a unique concept. I think that need to be uh, scaled up. Uh, so, if you see the history of uh, diesel buses into CNG, taxis, all taxis applying in Mumbai and many other cities are converted already into CNG. So, I see the future, ki in the future, in 10 years down the line, we won't be seeing any diesel and petrol vehicles. So, the, uh, so the business or the thing lies, the future lies in conversion of these vehicles, select, uh, petrol and diesel vehicles into electric vehicles. Many people have started their uh, this thing. STPA has been taking very important role in conversion of vehicles, the old vehicles into electric vehicles. And uh, there is uh, one more thing. Uh, we have uh, we have also uh, start thought, thought of starting e-cab system to promote electric vehicles. So this is uh, equivalent to it will be equivalent to Ola and Uber but it will be only e-vehicle. Ola and Uber already have uh, e-vehicles in their fleet, but they charge the same. So we are planning to get only electric vehicles just to sort of promote them in the city. And it will be government owned, like uh, it will be PMPML uh, driven with our own drivers. And we'll be having a good uh, flat rate system so that common people can uh, afford it. And it will be available all throughout uh, the, all throughout the day. So peak hours, non-peak hours, uh, all equal. So this is, uh, PMPML is not just about buses, PMPML is about transportation in a whole, in total. We are also coordinating with uh, Maha Metro, Pune Metro, for the feeder services, for the mild end mile connection. 
So thank you very much. I hope uh, you all will participate well and uh, your suggestions, your uh, intervention in policy making is very important. We get to know what uh, what is uh, requirement of the society, what is here. So I'd urge you to participate uh, very nicely in the workshop. Thank you very much.